Hello, my oily family. So I hope you guys are having a marvelous Monday. Hope everything is going well. Um, I wanted to just hop on real quick to be able to share with you guys a little bit about what is going to be coming up in May with this um, wonderful challenge of doing a detox all together, those who want to participate. And those who, you know, if you're not quite sure about it and you just want to kind of watch and you know be a voyeur with this experience with those of us who are doing the uh, cleanse and restore program through doTERRA then you know by all means that's what's really great about this family is if you're just not quite sure about it yet um you know definitely just learn and glean everything that you can from it and hopefully it'll be something that you want to be able to experience yourself so um, those though that are going to be um, starting this challenge in May with me is um, understanding that this is a mind, body, soul, spirit detox. It's not just about the physicalness of our body. Um, it is about our remembering that our body and our spirit are connected, right? So throughout this week, I'm going to be hopping on each day to be able to talk a little bit about um, something specific uh, through this week about this detox. So today, though, we're going to talk specifically about um, what you need to be able to best be prepared for this detox. So things that you're going to want and need are the supplement list um, that I've posted below. Um, but to real quick go through, it's going to be, um, you can go on your back office and just click the cleanse and restore kit and you can go ahead and get it all. It's already packaged all together. It has the uh, lifelong vitality pack, the PB Assist Plus, the GX Assist, uh, the Zendrokin soft gels, um, the digestion uh, terazymes, the lemon, the Zendrokin complex, the DDR Prime, and then of course it comes with um, a welcome packet that you guys have already gotten before. But that all together is uh, $245, whereas if you were to buy them all individually, it'd be $259.50. So, um, it's up to you. You know, some of you may are like, I happen to have um, a backup of my Lifelong Vitality Pack, um, and I have uh, plenty of lemon, and I also have plenty of DDR Prime. So those are some things that I may not necessarily need to get, but I may just, you know, to figure out exactly what I'm going to put in my car and how I'm going to put it. Um, also, another option is if you want to be able to add this Lemon Sassy, uh, to your cart to be able to help with the in-between meals, in-between eating. Um, it just helps kind of curb the appetite. But for those of you who are allergic to cinnamon, that is in this lemon sassy, some of the different oils that really help and support with curbing appetite is um, lemon as well as grapefruit. Also, let's say if you're having like really strong addictions to foods, um, uh, black pepper actually is really supportive. And ironically, I put black pepper, a drop of black pepper in my tea quite often. Any of my, like I do a lot of spicy teas, um, so I like a lot of the chai kind of teas. And if you've ever noticed, if any of you get the Yogi brand uh, um, tea, that several of the different um, blends, when you read the ingredients, several of them have black pepper within them. So you would think that, well, black pepper, how's that gonna taste in my tea? It really actually is not off-putting. It enhances the flavor with several of the other um, herbs and spices anyways. So um, it, it's, it might be actually quite helpful and supportive, and especially if you have um, an issue with cinnamon, black pepper might be another option. But then remember, there's also the grapefruit. A lot of the citruses really help as well. Um, so, the, that's the supplements, right? Um, let's see, you're gonna wanna have a journal, whether it is just a simple notebook, you know, uh, a center notebook even, or a journal that actually is dated or whatever. Um, I'm gonna be using something like this because it allows me to see um, that I'm gonna write down all the supplements and then I can check off each day um, how I've done it. Some of you may have reminders on your calendar that you like to do that kind of thing, but this one, it not only has the week, but then um, somewhere, there we go, I've got journaling spots um, for me to be able to write and plenty of space and all that stuff for me to just be able to kind of, you know, see how I'm feeling throughout day by day and, and, and uh, 
see, I'm kind of going to give my, myself an assessment in the very beginning of, okay, this is where my inflammation is feeling, this is how I've been feeling, and um, then, you know, say after three, four days, whether or not it increased or decreased, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that, because um, the first couple of days can kind of be, you know, interesting sometimes. Um, but, you know, just then each week, being able to really assess myself and then have an end of of the 30 days evaluation of my own self, of where was I spiritually at the end of this? Where was I physically feeling at the end of all of this? And just being able to have a place to be able to write and journal and to really put down all of our thoughts and how we are feeling through this entire journey, right? Um, so something else that you're gonna need um, to stock up on that we will talk more about later this week and into next week is greens, lots and lots of greens. The greener the vegetables, the more it detoxifies your body. It really just helps work and all that stuff. Um, oh, and another supplement that you may want to be able to add to your cart is the Terra Greens. I use them every single day and they're really great for in between meals even, just to be able to get that extra amount of greens because sometimes it's really hard to get that four pounds of greens in a day. Um, you know, between two and four pounds and that might seem like a lot, but when you cook things down, or we're actually gonna focus on raw, but we'll talk about that again later this week. Um, but, you know, it, the, the Terra Greens are just a really great way to be able to get those extra greens in to help our body, you know, flush out those toxins. So if you haven't watched the video yet um, that I posted last week um, about uh, why to be able to do the the cleanse and restore, the restore and cleanse from uh, doTERRA, um, and it helps us to be able to really understand that detoxing needs to be in a systematic way. So definitely check out that video. It's only, I think, like 27 minutes, um, and the uh, the trainer, she has a really great, it, it's, it's cool because she did a split screen, and so you see part of her, but then you see all of the systematic stuff. She's got some really cool graphics and things. So just, it helps cement it in your head of understanding um, how doTERRA wrote it up and how they developed this particular detox and all that stuff in um, making sure that our body is cleansing properly because with it, it ensures that certain organs cleanse out first to allow then other organs to do their cleaning because if we cleanse in a, in a different sort of way, if certain organs cleanse first, then it can get things to kind of back up and not, you know, fully clean out. Um, so I, I really recommend that you check out the video um, and, uh, and enjoy it. You know, watch it while you're cooking dinner or folding laundry or enjoying a bath, right? Something nice and relaxing for yourself. Um, so why a notebook and a journal? It will help you take time to write out what your goals are and desires for the detox. For me, my goals that will be going into it is about my inflammation, about slowing down with all the unknowns with my move coming up, you know, with the not even knowing exactly when I'm gonna be moving, um, all of that stuff. You know, that alone is creating inflammation as well to, you know, being exposed to some of the toxins that I don't normally expose to with painting and, and things getting stirred up in the house and whatnot. Um, and then just the travel, the toxins of being out and about in environments that I'm not always in. So, and you know, we have toxins around us all the time anyways. And later this week, I'll be talking specifically about the different types of toxins that we come in, in, in contact with. And so even if we're eating a really, really clean diet all of the time, um, which, by the way, nobody can eat a perfect diet. I was reading a study and watching a study about how even some of the greatest health professionals who really advocate about, you know, clean, clean eating and, and, and perfect eating and all that stuff, they themselves aren't perfect about their eating because it's just, when we eat out, right? Even if I choose a really clean salad, um, more than likely, those vegetables aren't gonna be organic. You know, um, more than likely, the um, I actually bring my own dressing, so I don't have to worry about the dressings anymore. But if I do want it to not be steamed or a salad, if I actually want to be able to have some sort of, you know, uh, stir fry, I take the risk of something being cooked in an oil that isn't, you know, always friendly to me. 
um, you know, and having to always ask and, and stuff like that, being our own investigators, our own um, advocates, because nobody else is going to watch out for our health if we don't, right? But even with that all in mind, keeping in mind that just our environment alone, we are inundated with so many toxins. So that's, you know, another thing of why I'm wanting to be able to do this detox is knowing that um, our body can only hold in so much. It can only take in so much at one time before it needs to kind of, you know, before it stops really functioning the way we would like it to function. Um, and again, no amount of fully clean eating 100%, even if we could say, I eat 100% clean all of the time, there's lots of other factors that can take into place, right? Heck, even worrying about what you're eating is toxic because that creates anxiety within you and that creates um, a, a toxic load of emotions. So that, ironically, science is showing that that, sh that actually stores up in our fat cells and in our body and it can slow things down and get you know gunky. So that is what this uh, restore and cleanse, cleanse and restore detox is going to be all about. So again, this week I'm going to be kind of breaking it down. So tomorrow I will be talking to you about what the difference is between a detox and a diet. Um, and then on Wednesday I'll be sharing about the types of toxins. Thursday we'll talk about foods that really support detoxing. And then Friday what we should expect from a detox, right? The goods and the bads. Um, and then next week, um, I'll talk a little bit more Friday about what we'll do as our pre-week um, um, detox as we're all waiting for our supplements to come in um, and making sure that we get our orders in on Monday, right? So anyways, you guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and I am so looking forward to this adventure with you. All right, God bless.